now This MMA, what we talking about? Yeah, you tuned into the pod now Gonna be hard for you to stop now Yeah, we caged in Yeah, we caged in Yeah, we caged in Welcome back to another episode of Caged In. I'm your host, Chris Carlo. Today, we got a very special guest making his debut on the show. It's my man, Kyle Hill. How are we doing today, brother? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing good. I know you got a big fight coming up next Friday night, Combat FC6, where you're taking on Sam Watford. So I appreciate you, you know, you're carving out a little bit of time to come on here and talk to me, man. Yeah, of course. Since this is your first time on the show, I do like to get into the background a little bit, get to know you a little bit better, and then we'll start diving into the fight stuff and obviously break down your upcoming fight. So just off rip, man, where were you born and raised and what was growing up kind of like for you? Um, I mean, I was born in New Hampshire, and um, honestly, my parents were, I feel like, pretty well off, like middle class. And mm -hmm. I grew up like watching the sport with my stepdad, and my mom was never too fond of it, but... Mm -hmm. I liked it and it started at a young age. I was like 15. Nice. Um, growing up, were you playing like conventional sports through school and whatnot? What kind of sports were you into? Um, I played some conventional sports. I mean, I played football. I played soccer. Mm -hmm. I like basketball, but I was never great on a team. Um, right. I'm kind of hard nosed. I like people who train hard. And if you don't, um, kind of <laughs> have a problem with you. <laughs> Yeah, I feel you. Uh, let's talk, you know, you talked about, you know, how you kind of found the sport, but what kind of got you into the gym for the first time? What piqued your interest to actually, you know, go into the gym, start training, and how did that kind of start your MMA journey? Um, like I said, my, I feel like my stepdad really got me into it. I would just like see fights on every now and then. Like, mm -hmm. oh, this is like really cool. But getting to know Stos, I was like 15. Um, I literally looked up MMA gyms near me and Nostos was the first one that came up. Hey, it's, it's a hell of a gym, too, so you can't go wrong yeah. there. All right, man, let's get into your fight style a little bit. For some people that might have not had the pleasure to see you fight before, how would you describe your fight style to them? Um, well, I like to move. Um, I'm light on my feet. I like to move, but I'm also cool with getting in the pocket with you. Um, I got great wrestling. I got great jujitsu. I can do it all. There you go, man. And your nickname, you go by Kyle Silent Hill. Where'd the nickname come from? What's the origin story there? Um, that's what my coach calls me. Yeah, Kyle Silent Hill. Um, I think it, the first time I competed in MMA, we flew down to Florida and I was like sucked out super hard from the weight cut. And I just went completely quiet for like a week down there. Right. Um, and that's what the coach gave me the name. That one stuck. Is that the one we're, we're going to be rolling with from now on? Um. I mean, that's what my coach calls me. I feel like you have to be given a nickname. You can't just make one up yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but I really like Kyle Killhill. I think that's fire. Yeah, can't go wrong with either of those, man. Let's yeah. get into your fight history a little bit. You are 1-0 as a pro, 4-0 as an amateur. You have two amateur titles to your name. Um, and just talk, let's talk about that time period a little bit, man. Looking back on your amateur career, uh, what are some of your favorite memories from that season of your career? Um. I think the first the first fight I had was uh, really important for me. I fought a D1 wrestler in Florida, and it was my first fight ever. Um, it was really cool to experience, like, going a place, traveling, or weight cutting as a team. Um, we flew down there with a few other guys. And I think the other one is um, when I fought Luis Melendez for the Cage Wars belt. That was just a sick um, opportunity. He's yeah. a great fighter, um, and it was a really cool promotion. For sure, man. I know a lot of those guys that go to Cage Wars, they have nothing but good things to say about that promotion over there. So uh, it's nice to hear you say the same. Uh, let's talk about yeah, that pro debut, man. September 2023, you make your pro debut. What went into the what went into the decision to turn pro and why was September 2023 the right time to make that turn for you? Um, I felt like as an amateur, like getting two belts um, is a lot of experience. Like I've fought two um not full five round fights but training for a five round camp mm -hmm. um and then also my coach is like telling me like dude you should go pro like all my weapons were being held back as an amateur i can't throw elbows i can't throw knees mm -hmm. so turning pro just like felt natural 
For sure. And let's talk about that pro debut a little bit. At Combat FC5, you took on Felipe Soares da Silva. You won via head kick at the beginning of round two. I think everybody might have seen that head kick by now. I mean, it went, it went pretty viral. Um, talk to me about that entirety of that fight, the first round, and then also, you know, that fight ending sequence at the beginning of round two, that uh, that, that beautiful head kick that you landed, made, landed there. Can you kind of just speak on that entire fight for me? Yeah, I mean, in the first round... Um... Well, there wasn't too much of a, like a filling out process. I threw like a few body kicks and got right into the clinch with him. I wrestled him, um, really ground and pounded him and just smashed him for the whole first round. So I was guessing he was tired. Um, he cut me with an elbow from bottom and Devin and Nick, my, my corners were telling me, Hey man, like trust in your striking, like trust in your striking. And I came out hot that second round and just hit him with a three piece and a soda. And that was it. Hey man, it was it was a beautiful combo. Um, the strikes that set up that head kick were beautiful. Uh, the clip, like I said, went viral everywhere. Um, it's and it, when I talk to people that are talking about this combat FC card as well, your your name always comes up, and that head kick always comes up in that conversation for things that people are excited for about this card specifically. So I know myself included, and everybody in the building is gonna be super excited to see you step in that cage versus Sam uh, next Friday night. How did it feel to go out there in your pro debut? Uh, get your hand raised, want to know to start the career and do it in such an exclamation mark kind of way. Um, I think it, it felt natural. I felt like I've been like waiting for that head kick since my first amateur fight. Um, Devin like put a bounty out for like a head kick KO and a liver KO. And he's like, hey, $100 to the first person who gets it. So I feel like I've just been chasing that right. um, ever since. It was sweet. Did he live up to his end of the deal? Did you get that 100 bucks? Oh yeah, I got yeah. He gave me that hundred bucks. My my coach Nick predicted it, so I was like, all right, you get the you get the money. There you go. That's perfect, man. Let's talk about that that uh, training camp that you're at over there, man. No Stoic MMA. For those that aren't familiar, can you kind of describe the vibe of the gym and just that environment that Devin Powell and the coaches are building over there? It's sweet. Um, Devin's a great head coach. He's got good people behind him too. I've been at that gym for a long time. I've kind of seen how like the ins and outs of it run and. I feel like it's a good gym all around. We're getting new bodies to come in now. Mm -hmm. I feel like Ozzy really started that. He came over, um, started cross training with us. And we like put up a few pictures and then like the floodgates opened. We got like a bunch of other people coming in to cross train. It's sweet. For sure, man. I, I've heard nothing but great things about uh, Nostos. I just actually spoke to Ozzy before his title fight and um, he had nothing but great things to say about you guys over there as well. So um, for this camp specifically, are you just 100% at Nostos or are you kind of dipping your toe and cross training anywhere else? Uh, not really. I pretty, I stick pretty consistent to Nostos. Mm -hmm. um, it's my home gym. It's where it's, it's nice and close and I get a lot of training there. For sure, man. You can't go wrong there. Seems like you guys have everything you need inside that one facility there. So uh, props to you guys for building such a great culture and the talent that you guys are turning out of there as well. It just seems to keep going up every year. So every time I see a Nostos fighter on a card, I know that that, that person is going to be there to bring it 100%. Um, who will we see in your corner at, at Combat FC6, man? Who's going to be there uh, coaching for you and in your corner? Um, I'll have Devin, um, Nick Miles, and then I'll have Brody McDougal too. He's a huge part of my training camp. I'm like my main training partner, my main sparring partner. So those three. Awesome, man. Those are, that's a great group of guys to have for sure. And let's get right into it, man. Combat FC6, you're taking on Sam Watford, who is four and seven as a pro. What do you know about your opponent? And then how do you feel about his game overall? Um, I will, you said his record. He doesn't have the greatest record, um, but I don't like I'm not underestimating this guy at all. I think he's a legit test. He's got a, a wide striking stance. He likes to throw those side kicks. He likes to throw those hook kicks. Um, but I'm excited to have like a chess match with this guy. Um, he likes to stand. I like to stand, but I can take it anywhere. Anywhere I want this fight to go is going to happen. For sure, man. And when you look at this matchup stylistically between you and Sam, where do you see yourself having the most advantages here? Um, I Dude, I really think everywhere. Um, I'm not even trying to sound overconfident. I no, really for sure, man. Everywhere. I think I think striking, I think grappling, I think he's going to be surprised when he gets in there with me. There you go. And, you know, Watford is going to be, to date, your most experienced opponent that you've ever fought, you know, four and seven as a pro, and then he obviously has extensive amateur record as well. Um, do you think that that's something that he's bringing in here that might be an advantage for him? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's had, a bunch, he's had way more experience in the cage than I have. Um, so, yeah. 
There you go. And this fight will be your second fight inside that combat FC cage in Wilmington, Massachusetts. Will we see a lot of Kyle Hill supporters in the crowd uh, next Friday night? I, I hope so. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Um, but either way, I'm I'm coming for the kill. There you go, man. And all the people in the building inside Shriners Auditorium, what can they expect from Kyle Hill once those cage doors lock on February 9th? Uh, another highlight reel performance. There we go, man. I know everybody's looking forward to it coming off the back of the last one. Um, I know everybody is definitely going to be having their eyes peeled and ready for you to walk into that cage and, and put on a show. And, you know, 2023 is in the books now, man. We're looking forward to 2024. Do you have any goals on your list that you're looking to check off uh, in this calendar year? Um, I'd like to fight at least three times. Um, and if everything goes my way, three wins, like I feel like I should get a shot at that combat FC belt. There you go, man. I think if you, you know, put together a streak like that and and finish the year off, you know, 4-0, and uh, I think it's going to be hard to, to deny you anything at that point um, by the end of 2024. Uh, before I get you out of here, man, uh, where can the people come find you on social media? And uh, anybody you want to shout out, thanks, sponsors, you know, the whole nine. Um, uh, my Instagram's Kyle Silent Hill. Facebook's Kyle Hill. Shout out to all the guys that know this. You guys are what make me who I am and a better person, a better fighter, a better athlete and shout out. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right. Perfect, man. Kyle, I appreciate you. Um, I will be in the, in the arena on Friday night, uh, watching you go to work. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to come out and talk to me, man. It means a lot and uh, best of luck next Friday, man. Yeah. Thank you. Down for the count and he can't even talk now. This MMA, what we talking about? Yeah. You tuned into the pod now. Gonna be hard for you to stop now. Yeah. We caged in. Yeah, we caged in.